back in tech learning and in this video i'm going to show you that how you can basically download the source build engine for the quest vr so if you go to the quest uh official github account you will never find the unreal engine version even if you go to official of epic launcher github you even don't find there is a no if you go to the release version there's a no vr version or quest vr version available so there's a, a separate link available which is by quest vr slash unreal engine tree dot source dot 5.0 so i'll give you the link in the description below or you can check on the website you'll find the link i will give you a direct link there's a no ads will be so don't worry about that okay once you have this link or you find this page you can see uh, switch to i'm going to download the uh, quest 5.0 i'm not even going to download the 5.0 preview or quest 5.1 i'm going to download the quest 5.0 because i need it because i'm going to create the multiplayer section i already buy the uh, aws uh, more than 500 usd plugin which is uh, on time multiplayer plugins and i have more plugins so that's why so simply copy that and once you copy i suggest to use uh, github uh, lots of user or youtubers show you use the git bash or even source tree but i recommend to use git desktop it's the more easy to do okay so once you download the git uh, desktop simply click on file and click on clone repository go to url and simply paste your url now select a dx why you want to uh, download the engine make sure you have more than 300 gigabyte because the unreal is those builds for size is too much so make sure so yeah so i'm going to download that here so simply clone and the you know the advantage of uh, the desktop git desktop is it will be show you the process that how much time it's taking and what's basically the progress okay so you never start or feel like oh it's starting or basically what's where it's going on you can monitor the second uh, benefit of unreal in source build is with the source build you can make the basically the multiplayer game kind of like you you can create with dedicated server which is not allowed in epic marketplaces by default engine okay and there's a lots of component also missing in the you know the uh, ordinary epic build engine so if you want to create a multiplayer game which contain the dedicated server uh, by aws or uh, some others highest provider so you need to use the unreal engine source build version okay make sure this source build version is a very complex engine and there's a loss of size uh, you need in inner space also you need some knowledge of visual studio and c plus plus otherwise you're never able to build the source build engine because there's a lots of error come in source build engine so you need to keep it in mind okay so now it's downloading so leave it like that and once it's download i'll show you for get my paid course you can visit my udemy account there's a lots of tutorial available also if you want to play my game you can check that on steam app store and google play store also we have now the discord channel so you can join there and do lots of fun and it is more also for get more information for our about video you can check our website also you can get my paid asset and plugins in epic marketplaces link in the description link below your cloning is done so as you can see my clone is done and this is the basic engine file so if you go to now the github by default it's in 4.27 so you need to choose that in uh, oculus 5.0 i'm not going to choose the lastest one if you go to at the last you find the uh, 5.1 even but i'm going to use only the 5.0.0 okay and once you have this now you need to place this setup so simply run this one and it will be now start downloading the dependency so it will be download more uh, more than 8 to 9 gigabyte file and once it's done it will be show you a message that yep it's done so then you need to run this generate product file so for now let's give it leave it like for download so as you can see once the downloading complete it will be say, ask you to like this the register unreal engine file type yes just once you press yes your file is now ready okay you have now if you go to your engine you find all the binaries and do not files and all the necessary stuff i mean even if you go to the content you find the, all the necessary plugins and other stuff what you basically need for your game development okay once your setup is done now you need to generate basically the project file or the engine config file so you need to simply click on generate project file so just run that so it will be um, run the dot net sdk and build tool that is basically give you a unreal engine editor and it will be basically generate a ue or a unreal engine 
source file or SLN uh, the visual file with the solution file. So with that, basically you are able to generate the C++ project. Okay, because this engine is basically the C++ engine right now. Yeah, you can write blueprints codes, but this is really designed for a development. Okay, so now you have your this. So you need to just simply right mouse and open. I need to open with Visual Studio. Okay. Even you can go to engine and extract and you can go to basically your Android and here you find a Android uh, setup bar where basically you find about the engine config and engine permission about what you basically need uh, like as you can see it's saying that more than 3.55 okay we have that and in the revolution build tool okay so as you can see it's need this build tool version make sure we have this stuff so we need to go to our uh, the android studio okay so simply go to your android studio because before building and generating all the file we need to must uh, complete this step that go to more option and go to sdk manager and in, and in your sdk manager here you fi uh, find that you need to go to sdk tools and then here you say that we need 13.0.3 uh 13.0.3 which we already have then cmaker 310 and that version specific uh c10 yep we have that too and in the ndk we need 21.4.0775 okay so at the ndk list uh 2.40729 yep we have the similar version what you basically need so yep we are ready to rock and roll and now once you check this file now you can go to your again unreal and here you find basically you already generated that so you need to open that with visual studio 2020 make sure you have the oldest version too so if it's necessary it will be automatically compiled all this stuff now you need to basically build your engine right now okay so by default it will be show you like this okay all the and it will be start uh, loading and as uh, stuff so you need to press this solution explorer or even if even even if you can press on the engine too and then go to basically the set at start project okay and then once you press you need to choose to uh, game development editor and make sure you choose to win 64 okay once you select like this you have now ready to rock and roll so simply right mouse and click on build now it will be take more than uh it depends on your computer config uh it can be take one to two hours if you have a good level pc so then it will be take less time okay so the make sure this source will take too much or it's used too much cpu so make sure you have a good processor okay and now you don't uh, think that okay, there's only th uh, 73 file they are going to compile more than 5000 file so just to wait let me show you in a minute that it's now compiling basically some cpp files which is basically allowed to modular to run the module core so it's right now it's just running some module core then the main uh the permission will come in a seconds or in a minute as you can see it's just run up to for uh, 50 okay so at this time make sure you don't disable your unreal engine or you don't stop your built-in config okay so make sure as you can see this is starting now the ui editor binary files and it's now starting the ui development uh file and make sure it's now generating the all the necessary file and here there's a total fine is more than 5922 so this is the actual file it's going to compile so now leave it your computer like this and once it's done let me show you what's happened so as you can see the build has been success after tons of time later so yeah it took lots of time and make sure there's a no there not should be any error once you have like this okay don't uh, ignore this red icon okay you don't need to do a worry about this thing now you can simply go to your your wherever you install your unreal then go to engine then go to basically the binaries then go to win64 and just scroll some down when you find unreal engine editor okay you need to you, if you want you can re, uh, rename it so you can use in your shortcuts okay there's a, with no issue so just scroll some here there's an unreal engine editor so you can simply click on create a shortcut and just rename that to you whatever you want you can give it a name some give it rename that ue5 or 
e o S C so so you are the source built okay I'm just writing like that here. okay once you rename it okay this is not necessary I'm just doing for my own purpose so just simply drag and drop because I have multiple Unreal Engine and now double click and open make sure if there's any error in your engine it will be never open but if it's everything okay the unreal jet trail will be open so as you can see in our case it's loading it's showing that 5.0.3 so it will be take now some time to compile shader let's give it some time to compile shader then let me show you for get my paid course you can visit my udemy account there's lots of tutorial available also if you want to play my game you can check that on steam app store and google play store also we have now the discord channel so you can join there and do lots of fun and it is more also for get more information for our about video you can check our website also you can get my paid asset and plugins in epic marketplaces link in the description link below